Good afternoon. Thanks, Chair. Today I'm going to show you the Assist Ireland website by demonstrating a number of products on the website that can help people live independently. Then Elfrida Carroll from the Sign Language Interpretive Service is going to take over and talk about remote sign language interpretation. First, let's take a look at what assistive technology is and how it can help people with disabilities to live independently. Assistive technology is any technology used by individuals with disabilities in order to perform functions that might otherwise be impossible. It covers everything from a basic lever that allows someone with arthritis to open a tap to sophisticated communication aids. Judy Human, the disability activist, said that independent living is not doing things by yourself, it is being in control of how things are done. Assistive technology gives people with disabilities this control. It provides them with access to and control over their environment so they can live independently. Assistive technology enables people with disabilities to access all areas of daily life, providing access to the workplace, education, transport, communication and leisure. It covers everything from stair lifts, automatic doors through to screen readers. Assistive technology also enables people with disabilities to control their own environment, switching on lights, turning on the TV, and opening curtains remotely. But where do you find out about assistive technology equipment in Ireland? Information about assistive technology products and who supplies them in, in Ireland is available at assistireland.ie. The site has two main parts, a products directory and an information section. The products directory contains about 7,000 products, which are divided into 20 basic categories, uh, from wheeled mobility or eating and drinking, etc. Each product listed has an image, a basic description, and lists the companies that supply it. The information section provides general information on how AT can be applied in different areas of daily life. For example, AT for communication. There are also about 30 information sheets that provide information on particular types of products. For example, one is entitled Choosing a Scooter. Assist Ireland has around 30,000 unique visitors and receives approximately 200 direct queries each month. That keeps us pretty busy. There are thousands of assistive technology products available to help people to live independently. But today I'm just going to show you a few examples of these products on Assist Ireland so you can see how the site works and how the products listed can make a difference to someone's ability to live independently. Let's use a case study to see how the Assist Ireland website and the information contained on it can help someone live in more independently. John is an older gentleman living alone who has become nervous about answering the door. He has difficulty opening the door as he has arthritis in his hands and he also has difficulty hearing the doorbell at times. John has some mobility problems and recently fell while alone in the house and was unable to reach the phone to get help. He is starting to think that he might not be able to live alone anymore, though he doesn't want to move as he has lived in this house all his life. Let's see how the Assist Ireland website can help John find some assistive technology so he continue living at home safely and independently. In the building environment section on Assist Ireland, there is a subheading entitled Door Openers, where John can find a range of devices to help him open the door. If John just wants something basic to help him open the door, he could get a doorknob lever or a key turner so it's easier for him to grip the handle or the keys in the door lock. For example, the rubber doorknob extension um, fits over round doorknobs, providing extra leverage to open the door, which can be helpful for people who find it difficult to make a firm grip. The key turner is a large handle that attaches to your keys so you can use a full hand grip to open the door lock rather than having to pinch your fingers around the top of the key. As with all products on Assist Ireland, these entries have a brief description, as you can see, a small image, and they list the Irish suppliers in the right-hand column. John could also get a non-auditory alerting device so we won't miss the doorbell. Most of these devices work on the transmitter and receiver principle. So, for example, the Byron Wireless Light and Vibration Doorbell, the transmitter is the doorbell, and when it is pressed, the portable receiver, which Don carries around with him, lights up and vibrates, as well as ringing. There are similar devices that alert people who are hard of hearing to other events around the house, such as when the phone rings or the fire alarm sounds. 
John could use one of these devices so he doesn't miss any more phone calls or visitors at the door. If John is concerned about security, there are a number of intercom devices which allow you to talk to and even see the caller before opening the door. Some of these systems allow you to control the door from where you're sitting, so you don't have to make the journey to the door if you're unsure on your feet. He could look at the Videx door entry system. This system consists of a front door unit and an interface to the telephone. When the caller rings the doorbell, the telephone rings twice as fast as normal. When you answer the phone, you speak directly to the caller at the door. To let the caller in, you press the number nine button on the phone. For further security, some of these intercom systems will connect to your television as well as your telephone, so you can see and speak to the caller before opening the door. Let's see this in more detail on the supplier's website, which you can access from the Assist Ireland website by clicking on the supplier's name there on the product page. This image shows a close-up of the intercom device installed at someone's front door. The caller presses the button on the intercom and the person inside can speak to them using their telephone. This slide shows the CCTV camera installed at the front door. When the doorbell rings, it is linked to the television, which will automatically switch over to an image of the caller outside so you can see who's there and if you want to answer the door or not. If John was worried about falling again, he could look into getting a personal alarm. This means if he did fall, he would be able to get help even if he couldn't get up. Basic personal alarms, like the family and friends auto-dialing panic alarm, is worn around the neck and when the button is pressed, it dials up to three friends or family members to alert them. More high-tech devices can be provided as part of a personal alarm package that monitors your home and activity and alerts the emergency service if there's anything amiss. John can find some general information about personal alarms and how to fund them on the Assist Ireland information sheet, choosing a personal alarm. So as you can see, there are a range of options there for John that will allow him to live independently and safely at home, whereas he is happy. The assistive technology devices we have looked at for John are fairly low tech, but they are all, there are also a lot of high tech products listed on the Assist Ireland website including access software for computers and environmental controls. Environmental controls really allow people with disabilities to access and control their environments with ease. As more and more household devices and tasks become automated and controlled through infrared and Wi-Fi, it becomes easier for people with disabilities to control things remotely. These days, even some smartphones have the capacity to act as remote controls for a range of infrared and Wi-Fi connected devices. So you could set up your iPhone to control the lights, windows and doors, as well as the TV and stereo in your house. Let's look at a video of Ritva, who was born with cerebral palsy, accessing her environment using an environmental control system. We will see her opening doors using the elevator, as well as controlling the TV and telephone using a transmitter that was mounted on her wheelchair. Hopefully this will work.
that's all I have time to show you that. Um, Okay, so there are also some basic environmental controls. For example, the senior pilot. This remote control transmitter can be programmed to operate up to 15 different functions around the home. Senior pilot is operated using the buttons on the remote, but can also be used by scanning with a switch. If John's mobility becomes more of an issue, he could look into getting one of these environmental controls so he doesn't have to get up every time he wants to turn on the heating or open the curtains. At Assist Ireland, we would always recommend that people get an assessment and advice from a relevant health professional or disability organisation before getting any assistive technology uh, equipment. So this presentation has just scraped the surface on the range of assistive technology available that could be used to help people to live independently. If you want more information on any of these products, just log on to assistireland.ie or call, email, or text us. Now, Elfrida from SLIS is going to provide a demonstration of remote sign language interpretation. Thank you for listening to the presentation on Assist Ireland.